So this is Lake Powell, created by Glen Canyon Dam, for a controversial dam here that provides hydroelectric power for the state and throughout the region. Not on the scale of Hoover Dam near Vegas, but uh, this is a mighty impressive construction feat here. More contemporary times, done in the 60s. And a lot of famous movies have been filmed in this region. Outlaw Josie Wales, uh, the first Planet of the Apes with Charlton Heston, King of Kings, a lot of movies filmed in uh, the Glen Canyon region here because of the beauty. <clears throat> you can see there's a kind of a toilet bowl ring on the rocks over there beyond the dam and it shows you how far the water has receded. Now I recall the uh, flood that was happening here, I think it was 93, 94 when this dam was almost breached by an excessively wet um, spring with all the rainfall and also with uh, snow melt coming down from the uh, Rocky Mountains in the Colorado region. And that was almost the end of this dam. But now it's the other way around. It's gotten pretty low. A lot of uh, formerly inaccessible areas are now exposed and uh, you can get back in them for hiking. So Glen Canyon Dam is uh, down considerably. Lake Powell is down considerably rather. Some people say it's just a matter of time before it uh, won't be uh, of much use. Ed Abbey wrote about this dam and um, you know, there's a great book if you want to read more about the Southwest and water rights issues and the dams here and that kind of thing. Mark Reisner's book called Cadillac Desert that was made into a PBS special. If you are moving to the Southwest, you want to learn more about water rights and water in general and, and the Bureau of Reclamation, a lot of these institutions that were involved in the shaping of the, the uh, water policies here, I'd highly recommend getting that book or checking out the PBS series. Excellent book. Ed Abbey's books, of course, are really good. Desert Solitaire is a, a must-have book if you're going hiking in southern Utah, northern Arizona, or just going to be spending time uh, in the desert Southwest. Here is a view of what the Hopi call Tokonavi, one of their sacred peaks to the north, marks the edge of their northern territory in Arizona. It's actually in Arizona. I'm standing in Utah taking a picture of this across Lake Powell here. And um, you can see the waters right there. <coughs> and Navajo Mountain, it's called on the map. It's also sacred to the Navajos. And uh, around the base of this, there's a lot of springs, so it's kind of a popular area for people to go backpacking and on multi-day trips because water's not an issue and you're in the beautiful scenery of the Painted Desert, lots of places to camp. You can go on a three to five day backpack trip over there. Over here we've got, uh, from the other side, the Navajo generating station there, the smokestacks you saw earlier, and then the dam once again in this direction. So the uh, topography and geography and, and geology changes a little bit as you cross over the dam you start getting into uh, different types of sandstone formations as you head over to Kanab, Utah which is to the northwest of uh, Page, Arizona where I took the pictures of the dam earlier. Well, Lake Powell is one of those places you could definitely disappear in or spend a lifetime studying and exploring as some people have done up here. This is kind of their private Grand Canyon, over 2,000 miles of shoreline. Some fantastic bass fishing, world-class bass fishing goes on here and lots of side canyons, ruins, caves. You could spend a lot of time exploring here. If you had a boat, fishing pole, you could easily live off the lake here as well. It'd be a great place to uh, to practice skills and to uh, you know get into tracking all kinds of things this is such a, a playground up here so many different places to explore <laughs>